lobs it up. That's what I like to see, baby. George, his first. Garrett Temple. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Full Court. He's with your Shea Good. Uh, Raptors versus the Clippers. Just a day removed from all the nonsense that went on in that Lakers game. I think that Darko rant got played just about everywhere. Every single major sporting news outlet covered it. Regular news outlet covered it. I saw it in the UK. The BBC was covering it. I'm like, bruh, I personally love the rant. I think I think most Raptors fans did because it just shows you that he's on their side and we got to be real The offense has been looking way better now that we have players that just better fit the system And maybe not even better since maybe it's like almost a perfect match. I don't want to get too ahead of myself Let's just get into the game. See what we see if you're new to the channel. You can uh, like the video uh, Subscribe to the channel leave a comment. I do read comments at the end of the video So stick around towards the end of the video for that that being said Let's get it going. Raptors, Clippers. More time before the Clippers head out on the, the back road. to back is crazy, bro. Fresh back to back. 10:30 Eastern the time game. Keep it rolling. They are 15 and three since December 1st. Oh man, the right I'm feeling those, bro. I'm feeling those. Party started into the paint. Finds Terrence Man in the corner for three. Kawhi, fresh off that crisp new extension. I feel you, bro. Started 30 games. Did not start last. Shouts out Kawhi, bro. Barrett to Barnes. Yeah, uh, no Siak in this game, so more. Endo Perto, some more Thad Young guarding Zubox. Like, he gets some tough matchups, but y'all would say if Thad played good. I mean, yeah, Thad played decent. Like, if Thad was just like had a little bit more uh, lateral foot movement, he'd be fine. I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't feel no type of way about it. But he's also not crazy tall. He's an undersized center, too. And he doesn't have great foot speed. You know what I'm saying? How, how do you do that? How do you get hit? But, uh, yeah. So, Raptors undermanned against a fully healthy Clipper team. There we go. RJ, been looking absolutely amazing as a Raptor. Absolutely amazing. Good drive, Barrett. Good shit, my dog. I'm not gonna lie. That Lakers game had me mad for, like, a full 24 hours. It wasn't until this game started where I was completely over it. It is what it is, bro. What do you expect to happen? It's tough. Tough. Gary. Gary, the way Gary moving, bro, he got a different vibe, a different energy. Russell still got that that second gear he can get to. That's crazy. Like, 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 Gary, okay. All right, Gary. I, don't, you, I feel like you could have done this all year, but maybe it's just the spacing, you know? Good pass, Porter. Porter is playing like a guy that is in our future, bro. Shooter, good take. Good take. Westbrook back in overdrive himself, cradles the ball from the line to the lane, blocks I don't know what he's complaining about. I didn't really, didn't really see it. Gary again. Okay, now. Six, and this is the offense that we were talking Mr. About. Gary Chet, Mr. GQ. Let's get it. I've seen people saying you should have been on Love Island after the last couple games, bro. This is what I'm seeing on Twitter, bro. I need you to step it up. Jonte, let's go. Give it. George gets into the paint, lobs it up. That's what I like to see, baby. George, his first. Garrett Temple. Yeah, uh, good try, Garrett. You don't always get the. Uh, yeah, it's just sorry, Garrett. Yeah, keep it off. Little we'll Scotty, little boy. Oh, good pass. Good pass. Good cut, Barrett. Like, I didn't think Barrett would be such a good fit around Scotty, but low key, he's a great fit too. So him and quickly are great fits, man. Five for Oh, that's a good pass. Why don't we see his ass for a second, bro? Like, keep the action where the action is, bro. Cameraman said, let me get some booty. <laughs> bro, come on now. Quickly, the runner. It's his first. Here we go quickly. Do not waste time. Quickly attacks from the wing. Oh, tough. Tough floater. Second bucket for er, not floater, but you know what I mean. James Harden for three. Oh, he rattles it in. Second three for James Harden. Oh, man, I'm going to need so many five. more coffees, bro. Oh, yeah. two machine guns at home. Leonard with a dozen. Oh, good pass. Sad with a dunk. There you go. Defense. 
has to recover quickly. Leonard gets to his spot. Yeah, Kawhi in that midi. We know that too well, man. And the Clippers on top of the team. Quickly. Let me see that one more time. Oh my goodness. And the Clippers on top of the team. Bruh, I don't even know how he got that shot off. There was people trying to block it in front of him and behind. Just kind of. Flick that joint in. That was, that was cool. That was cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. Puts it in. Look at us. Up one against the Clippers. Full strength Clippers. All right, boys. Give me hype. Fad with a pass. Fad the dad, the father figure with the pass. I love to see it. Shooter sold the hell out that call, bro. They got to give us some calls after last night, so it's what it is. Yeah, Norm can do that. Norm's shooting numbers are actually really, really good. So are that man. So are that man. Since he came to Toronto, good curl. Let's go, boys. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Overall, Thad's playing good, y'all. He's playing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not against that, bro. I want him to enjoy his life with his kids, but like, yeah, you know, I'm ultimately I'm on Thad's side. You feel me? From the field here in the pass, Scotty. The franchise. The franchise. Face of the league. Of explosion we have here is George for three. Yeah, no, like the Raptors' offense is for real, bro. Who would have thought? To grab the I, I, I was. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Mm mm mm. I'm sorry, sure. I might need to, to see this one more time. Yeah, Shooter kind of, he kind of flopped, bro. He kind of flopped, bro. You can't really get him to him. I'm sorry. Get him right back, though. Then get him right back. There you go. There you go. There you go. TG. Oh, almost a good tip. No one bad communication. Second night of the back to back, there was a couple things just like a couple moments where there's miscommunication, no communication, and a couple weird efforts from Scotty, and then some great efforts from Scotty. So it was a weird game. Quickly, wide open. You know what that is. <laughs> you know what that is. Come on now. You know what that is. Come on, baby. Oh, good defense. Oh. Westbrook. Oh, that's a good pass. That's a good pass. It's good. That's a good pass. George with 14. Great Where are we going? Yep. Barrett the other way. Good take, Barrett. And quickly, Barrett obviously already have chemistry. I think Scotty just needs. He, he just you want good players around. He doesn't need good players around him per se, but you can really just create a, a hub with Scotty and scores around him. We could have a top five-ish offense, top ten. I'll say top ten offense. Every year with Scotty, if we if we construct the roster like that, there we go, RJ, Gary. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, this game, this highlights moving quick as hell, bro. TG, tough, tough. Yeah. We'll we'll need maybe like I said, we got we need someone to replace OG now to play that role. Maybe even coming off the bench, you know. Oh my goodness, Jonte Porter, good pass, boy. Scotty, the franchise, let's get it. Let's get it. Tough, tough, tough. Now the, the, the Clippers got a lot of firepower. I won't even lie to you. And you could see this quarter, yeah, the the legs is coming into effect, bro. Oof. Oof. Down eight. Down the right side of the alley. Good pass. Good, Good extra pass. Schroeder. Get us back in it, baby. Get us back in it. There's third most passes in a game they average. Powell alone in the corner for three. Yeah. Damn. This Clippers team is for real, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. This Clippers team is for real. This is a top five team in the NBA. This is like what it looks like to me. I don't know what their record is at the moment. God damn, bro. Everybody hitting me. Good pass. Boucher, yup. There we go, Boucher. Good shit. Kawhi yeah, that's, no, no, no. I don't know what you're looking at, Scotty. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh my gosh, flying, flying, PG. What are you jumping for? What are you jumping for, PG? Oh my gosh, you went flying one more time. I said jump, you said jump. No, that boy. Oh my lord. 
I love to see it, baby. I love to see it. Nice pass from Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. If Pirtle's there, that's a block. But we got that in right now. I'm not even mad at this, bro. I'm not even mad at this. We still fight. And we still fight. Yeah, we a little bit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Tough. Just who we have in the game, we're just a little bit smaller right now, you know what I mean? That's the thing, bro. We got a lot of roster spots that are being used on some older players that I'm like, I don't mind if we have some use for that, but there we go, Barrett. You know what I mean? They do. Seven to shoot. Feel like we can use some of these spots, but we'll see after the trade deadline. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough place to double. I think they. Uh... Oh, oh! Quickly! Three point game. Let's go, baby. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Clippers, Clippers really need real plays in order to beat the Raptors. There you go, Thad. Lost by six. But they won this day either way. Yeah, yeah. I like what I saw from the team. I think overall, second night of a back to back. No Pascal, no Yaka Pirtle. New guys looking good. Overall, you gotta be pretty happy with the fight. I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm at the, I'm not even mad at this loss at all. I know it's tough just because where we are in the standings and we need every win, of course. And on this road trip now, it's three games that we're right there to take. And you don't get those back. You don't really get any moral victories or anything like that. But these are great building blocks to build off of. Clippers look great. What can you say? Clippers do look great. P.J. Tucker not even getting no minutes on this team. I think the Daniel Tice ad is a big pickup for them. Just the way he moves and what they were missing before with a backup big. That Clipper team is that Clipper team is serious. They got a lot of talent. It's going to be interesting to see in the playoffs. Um, Raptors still pushing for the play in. And they can very well still make that push. And I know, I know not everybody wants to talk about it but first game with the new guys without pascal and the offense is still humming i wonder what the gms do with that what does messiah what does bobby think with that i'm not gonna you know what i mean i'm not speaking no more about it but it's interesting these are things you will take notice of i'm sure overall pascal is a great player and the raptors are better with him on the court of course how big of a step back do you take if you lose pascal and you can maybe get some additional assets to make the team deeper these are just thoughts that Masai and Bobby are going to have. You know what I mean? I'm not advocating one way or the other. And I'm still there to extend Pascal. I love Pascal. But yeah, man, let's get to the comments. I know after the last Lakers game, there was a lot to say, bro. So let's uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, Shouts out to at Ultra no Rec. Uh, This game, I never got out of my chair and had to walk outside in minus 14 degrees Celsius weather to cool off. Because of the ref non-calls and the fact that the Lakers were hanging on the rim multiple times, which didn't get called out. The fact that Scotty had to go freak mode and would not get a foul call when we was getting called for softest touches on AD. AD is literally over 240 pounds. He can take a little bit of contact when he goes up. Scotty's getting hacked and can't get one call throughout the game. I need the ref's flight plans, bro. <laughs> Yo, you wildin', bro. You wildin', bro. I feel you, though. I feel you, though. Cause that's I think that's the biggest concern. I seen a lot of people talking about the fouls and the Raptors intentionally fouling as some sort of context that we're missing. I, I got the context for you, my brother. Y'all, y'all, you need you need the context. I got you. It's not being called both ways. Not too many people are saying, oh, every single one of those like 20 whatever free throws was incorrect. That's not what we're saying. It's just there's no the disparity is wow, bro. How is it that these light contacts on Anthony Davis are called fouls? And then there's at least clear fouls against the Raptors, and those aren't getting called. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the issue. That creates so much in the game. You're missing shots due to fouls. The Lakers are going the other way. And then if they miss, they're going to the line. It's huge. Not to mention mentally what that does. When you know it's you're going down one end, the game is stopping, and then for whatever reason. The flow is amazing when the Lakers are in transition. Explain that to me. It doesn't make sense. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, you cl complain. You complain. God, you goddamn right I'm complaining. Did you watch that game? The only people that is really saying it was fair is the people that was wearing purple and gold tinted glasses, bro. You got Lakers Nation in your bio, bro. I, I understand. You got priorities. You got objectives. And you got goals. I understand what you're doing. You got ulterior motives. Shouts out to at Ryan, Mr. Tsunami Bishop. The fact that there even is such a thing as superstar calls tells me all I need to know about the NBA. It is kind of crazy that we've come to that 
it's been this way for a minute. You know, we could go into the Tim Donahue, Donahue, Donahue. If you don't know that name, that's the ref that was fixing games in the NBA. Got kicked out the NBA, I'm pretty sure. I think he might have served jail time. I'm not sure. There's a documentary on Netflix if you want to check it out. It's actually pretty interesting. But this dude was rigging NBA games. And at near the end of the documentary, there's a huge insinuation from him saying that a lot of this was sort of league pushed, like pushed from the head office to say, oh, we want to see this team in the playoffs. Da, 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 da. The league has denied that, cut ties with that, and subsequently, anybody who talks about the slight possibility of a game not being fair and may being rigged, the league do not play. Which is why at this point of recording, I've not seen what the fine is uh, for Darko. I don't think they've announced it. I want to see what they do in this case. Because normally they drop the hammer on something like that, bro. Uh, this video's going on long enough. Still need to edit this joint. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. New videos on the way. Raptors, way more exciting, way more entertaining basketball. I love to see it. I'm tired as hell, bro. They need to get off this West Coast uh, road trip expeditiously, bro. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.